Greetings everyone, what is up, it's me again, Tim Prime 1, with another video review for you all, and this video review is me based upon the unboxing video I did earlier today, Magic Square's take on, um, his name is on the top of my tongue, um, Drag Strip and Dead End, and I was right, his name is Dead End, uh oh, hang on. Okay, sorry about that, my little girl. She's been very cranky tonight. She it's like she doesn't want to go to sleep or anything, but I'm, I'm not for sure. But yeah, um, we're now, now going to take a quick look at Magic Square's pillage and contain. I don't know if you've already seen the box, but let's go and take a look, look at the box again. We have that little alien fellow right there from one of the episodes. Excuse me. And I must say this, he is gigantic in that one episode. He's just purely humongous. Like he, would, like, he would make the Earthlings look like they are microscopic organisms. But yeah, little guy right there, little guy. And right here we have their take on Drag Strip and Dead End. Pillage and Contain, they, they form the arms of Menasaur. Well, they're taking on Menasaur. And I must say, really good looking box art right here. Love it. Metric Square right there. And it kind of looks like a Rubik's Cube. Age is 16 plus to let us know to let us know which collectors that they're aiming for. And right here is um contain. And right over here is uh, pillage. So I have still a little bit tired. Zero to three. No, do not let them have it. My little girl, she wants to touch these things so much. And right here is a little barcode right there and such. Like a like a yeah, definitely warning right there for for kids and you've always seen the back of this But let's take a look at it again. And I love the way this back piece looks really nice really nice on top right here. We have magic square Brob Brob did I cannot pronounce it at all MSB 12 and B 13 pillage and container. So yes, that is it for the box right there so now let's go ahead and take a quick look at these two little guys right here. I'm going to try and zoom in a good bit as much as possible. Bring them in at the same time. Oh boy. Yeah, these guys are Legends class figures. And I must say they did a really fantastic job with these guys. I really do like them. I, I will say this right now about them. This guy is far more complicated. You can see he's not completely flush right up there because quite frankly I had a hassle of trying to transform him into his car mode. I, I hope I didn't stress out the plastic. I hope I did not because if I did it would be right in here that I stressed it out now. That would be, be a pure accident because I do not I am not even trying to do that right there. And he was not as bad because because like I only had a bit of a difficult difficulty right here. But yeah, really, really nice, really nice looking vehicle modes. They did a really good job with them. I really do like them. And a minor update, I finally found out what these are. Watch MGO watch MGO's video on this guy right here. And turns out these are combiner pieces. I am not for sure of how these will work, but hopefully once the other figures come on out, we will find out how these work. So let's go put these boxes to the side. And also included with these guys, as you all had seen before, we have this gun meant for, I believe, yeah, for this guy right here. This gun meant for this guy. I think. Let me double check. The, um, no, don't fall. Do not fall. Please do not fall. Hang on. I'm going to check real fast. Yeah. Yeah, hang on, there we go, I got it now, confirmed, confirmed, this gun goes to him, no storage on him at all, I do wish it would have included storage, but the but the best way scenario is just to maybe put the gun off to the sides, and this gun right here, like, like right here, nothing, no storage at all, I do not know why they gave him, I, do, I know why they gave him guns, but nothing to store them, and two, I have no idea why they did not do that, but yeah, that's basically how you, of how you have that right there, really nice little Gen 1-esque vehicle modes, really, really nice, I really do like these right here, 
And I will say this, I do have X Transpod's version of this guy right here. I have not yet done a video review because of how he's a little bit complicated and plus it's and plus I hardly have the time right now for those things right there. It's really hard for me to find the time for those things, especially since I'm having to raise a little one. But yeah, really nice right now, really nice. But uh, really good little car modes, really fantastic. I love these guys. And for a quick size comparison. Let me move this on over a bit. To center the camera. Or is it to center and demo a little bit more? And there we go. Starscream! Core class Starscream! And he is like free and like you can definitely tell like core class core class based. So yeah. And also I had his null rays, but they vanished somehow. I don't know where they vanished to. They're probably somewhere in my mess. So yeah, really nice little vehicle modes, and I'm I really do like the robot modes as well. So let's go ahead and transform these guys, shall we? Now, uh, first we're gonna go ahead and transform him. He's a bit more complicated, especially. Like, uh, hang on for a second. Hang on. Yeah, you see, he's a big com. He's He's what I consider more complicated than him. Yeah, the best way, way to transform. And also, um, I had to put these on the other way because I looked back at the instructions and the instructions on here say to put them like the curves right there facing upwards. So that's what I did right there. I want to see if this will work because if I transform this guy with them like that right there, they kind of got in the way a few times. Oh, she is grumpy. Now to take this piece right here. Take this piece, come on. There we go. Rotate that down, rotate this down. Oh, yeah, you have to really. Yeah, this thing, this, yeah, this guy wants to fight constantly. He wants to fight a whole lot. I don't know why. I did nothing to you. Wait, is it because I'm, is it because I'm for the Autobots? That's the reason why you're out of here. He may have been complicated, but at least he worked with me. So let's see. Oh, I almost forgot to show you guys the collector cards. Sorry about that. The collector cards. I love, I love the way that their party companies give you the collector cards. Really nice. Now I'd like to transfer. Oh, boy. I will admit, I do have a bit of anger issues, but sometimes when some stuff like that happens, I get annoyed. I will admit, I do get annoyed. So yeah, just bear with me, Amaya, whenever I get annoyed. There we go. And I'll admit, these guys also annoy me because of how they are complicated to configure. Oh boy, I think I might have done that one a bit too early. Hang on for a second. Let's see here. Yeah, yeah, now you see now you can see pretty much see why I say these guys are very why he's so complicated. There we go. He has a bit of his on a bit of that's like a bit of a hinge drive right well not a bit of a hinge right but like it's a really try to there we go, there we go. There's a little tab right there that'll go into a slot right down here. You just have to make sure it's in a proper alignment to tap that into place. And same thing on this side right here. There we go. My view, I will admit, my view looks a bit, looks a bit grainy. I don't know why. I have no idea why. Maybe it's too close in or something. Hang on, let me just zoom out a bit more. There we go. That should do it. That should do it. There we go. Oh yeah, one annoying part right here is that is that once you get this down here, the foot cannot clear over this thing at all. Unless of course if you try to maybe adjust it a little. Yeah, let me try to adjust it like this. Oh come on. Ah yep. Yeah. The spoiler does get in the way. I do not know how to not have that be in the way so much. But this is the best way to do it. Remove the spoiler and just just 
Oh boy, why in the world? Okay, that's why I say this guy fights me a whole lot. Because he does not make up his mind on what things should go where. There we go, I finally got it. Ah, yeah. Okay, and this. He, let's see. I'm trying to find out where that little tab is. Let's see. There's, well, there's a slot right there that this one little tab will go into. Let's bring it back this way. Opa. Well, no, it ain't not that slot. Yeah, with that slot right there. Just bring it up like this right here and align it properly. There we go. This way, the feet will stay secure. Now, same thing with this side. Please tell me this is going to. No, that is not going to do so. Ah, uh, yeah, this is what annoys me about. Like, I don't get how this even works. You have to put this back into. Well, I can't really put that spoiler back into there at all. Yeah, I can't put that. I don't know what is going on with that spoiler right there. Take out the spoiler right here. Now. Go ahead, rotate this on down right here. There we go. Tab, slot, right in there. Just tab that into place. Wait, hang on, let me show you all. There's the little slot right there, little tab right there, if you all can see that. There we go. Line that up. There we go. Tab into place. Rotate that on down. There we go. There we are. Get that and his legs on his this piece on down here. Push that in, push that in. Voila, so for voila. No, this is why I say no, this is why I say he rem he reminds me a bit of Cybertron def Cybertron defense. Cybertron hotshot. It's because of this piece right here. This gave me a lot of trouble right here. And this also gave me a lot of trouble because like I really couldn't get this into a proper alignment somehow. I had to really force it down. Don't know what is back behind there, cause like once you pull this on out right here, I have no I oh wait a minute. Oh now I see it. There's like a those you can see those little two little tabs and those little slots. I don't know if you guys can see the slots in there at all. But yeah, there's a couple of slots in there. You have to really push this thing on down. Like push this thing on down right there just to get them a proper alignment. Once you do that right there, pull it back on down this way. There we go. Pull this on down. Rotate his arm down right here. Rotate this arm down right here. This one doing this guy first. He is very complicated. Pull that arm right back up right there. Pull this on down right here. Push it, rotate back up right there. Get on a bit of a double hinge to where you can just push this arm back up this way like this. And just pull this on one down like so. Just to push that one up right there. And he has a... Oh, these are the same two tabs that go into the slots. Uh, let's see here. They are right back in there. A couple of slots right back in there. But these two little slots right here are for the robot mode. So what you want to do is pull, is pull this on down. Try to put this into place. I had to really force it back into place because, like, it was, in the pro it was in the proper alignment, but we just wouldn't go on in. So, there we go. Put, pull out this arm right here. Pull out this arm right here. And there we go. There we go. Legends. Well, Core Class Dead End in his. Well, not Dead End. Um, what did I call him again? What's his name again? <laughs> oh, boy. Um. And there he is, contained in his robot mode, and now for his little partner in crime. For his little partner in crime, what you want to do is try to get this separated first. Come on! Come on! Yeah. <sighs> Let's go ahead and move his spoiler on out of the way a bit. And tap his legs from right here because like this this is a complicated part right here you have to like really get into like a proper here let me show you all real fast you have to get into if it'll respond there we go
There we go, and just well, get up, really make it to where this thing is down in here. The instructions say for you to have it down here, and while these legs are extended down here, you have to push the legs on up, but there's no way to slide that. I'll show you that in a second. You have to really, really push this stuff on in to correct alignment. There we go. So yeah, that's how you're supposed to do it. A bit, compli uh, bit complicated, but not as complicated as he is. We go, just take this piece right here, push on up, and unlike that guy, this has to rotate around. Originally, I thought these had to rotate around since these little wheels were on the inside right there, but once I read the instructions, I was wrong. They swing around. Speaking of swinging, go ahead and swing these on up right here to help to go ahead and form the feet. There we go, pull this on down right here, there we go. The same thing with this one right here. And I'll say this, I've been noticing of how MGO and Prime versus Prime, I'm not for sure about Optibonus. I know they, I know like only two of the channels are going from how they come in the package. But for me, I've no, I've been, I've been doing this for quite some time. And, and quite frankly, I'm used to doing things more originally than the newer way. There we go, there we go. Those all line up into there. What you want to do next is try to pull this on out right here and pull his arms on out. There we go. Untap his arms from right there and just pull this on out right here. You can see right here, he can do like this right here. And I, and I do have a bit of a, of a suspicion that Maybe right in there, like you can switch him on up if need be, because of this right here. I think I'm not fully for certain, but it does look like it. It does look like it. Unless, of course, if this swings out or something. I think this, just like I see that little bit in there, and I think this, this looks like it swings out. I'm not for sure, but I'm not going to try it right now. There we go. Just take this piece right here, bring it down. Take this arm right here, pull it, extend it down, rotate this, and then take this little hand, rotate that around as well. Do the same thing on this side right here, pull this on down, and rotate rotate the arm. Sorry about that, and rotate the fist. I know the fist looks like it can't rotate, but trust me on this one, as soon as I tried it, I thought it didn't rotate either, but if I rotated it, it worked. It worked. So, yeah, there we have him in. His robot mode, and we have did it in his robot mode too. And from the last time I did this, um, let's go ahead and try to put this gun into his fist. There we go. That is a bit difficult right there. Might be different difficult over here too. There we go. Wow, that that did that did not fight me as much as that did. Well, this one didn't fight me as much either, but this one was a lot easier than this one. But there we go. There we have it. Now, they are now in their robot modes. And I must say, um, hang on, let me readjust this. And I must say, these two guys right here, they are really, really, I really do like of how Magic Square made them. I have been anxiously waiting for them to be available for quite some time. And quite frankly, I will say this. Um, with only me, these two right here are very Gen 1-esque, very Gen 1 accurate. I do like what they did. I'm curious as to how, as to how they're going to combine them, because I definitely did notice, like, on the back of him, right here, excuse me, on the back of their version of Drag Strip, um, it has, like, a little, a, a little swing. I'm curious. Uh, I'm, I'm a bit curious. Oh, oh, oh! It does. It does swing on out. So maybe, um, maybe. Oh, oh! This is for like whenever you use him for the arm because of how he does that right there. Maybe there's like a connecting piece like right here somewhere ish. Maybe the maybe of how to combine them is like to like. Yeah, let me see if I can figure this out. I normally don't do this, but this is just me trying to solve like the puzzle right here. Um, I'm, my guess is that it 
you have to go at like this right here and just there we go push that on in there we go there we are somehow these will i'd say the legs will be configured to where they will contain the fist maybe or they will contain these things right here i'm not really for certain but it is a good question though it is a good question but yeah, i think this is like like oh wait i think no wait this oh this ain't like oh i thought there's like a combiner component piece no but yeah, i was right this does swing on out for him to become the i'd say the left arm or like like let's see here left arm or right arm i'm not for sure but yeah that does swing out right there so let's go ahead and push pull this stuff back on that right here there we go or this piece right here will have to swing down for the um well no i don't think that will work at all i'm i'm not really for certain of how it works but hopefully once they come on out with the remaining set we'll find on out how to combine them together into one solid alt mode yeah i know this video has gone over 20 minutes and this is how i do things i am i try not to think make things complicated but somehow i do i do not know how and i'm a little bit suspicious does this do, do you also have what he has like a little swing joint i think he does ish let me just um, I think I have to untab these things from right here in order for me to get that out of the way first. No, 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 let go. So yeah, the, this pretty much does tab right on here. But like, you have to really, there it goes. Got it. Just, aha. Pull this on up right here and swing this around so yeah this thing this guy right oh sorry about that this guy right here also has a bit of a swing joint on him to where you can just make it to where he is the left or right arm maybe there we go there we go i do love the g1 i do love g1 but quite frankly um i really haven't memorized the stump cons at all well not all that much there we go. Let's go ahead and put this one down right here. Pull this one down right here. Push that up right there. And there we go. Ish, I'd say. So yeah, there we are. There we have it. There we have it. There we have these two right here. So now let's go ahead and do the size comparison again with Star Scream, Core Class Star Scream. Here he is. It swaps my coronation. <laughs> but yeah, I really do recommend to get these guys right here. They are definitely really great and so far pretty durable with, with the um quality plastic that has been used on them. And also still with him, like I have not yet figured out how to transform him with these pieces on him at, at all. I might, keyword, might do a um, video review on how to keep them on there on there whenever transforming him so yeah if you all have enjoyed this video review go ahead and hit the like button sorry about that sorry about that i'm gonna push him back i'm gonna push him back go ahead the like button subscribe with me and wishmaker excuse me and also Leave me a comment in the comment section below and look for me on social media such as Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Discord, and so on. Until next time, I'm Tim Barmon. I'll be signing off right now. So peace out.